In today's video, we'll be diving into the latest updates from Meshi AI, breaking down all the new features and improvements in Meshi 4. We'll also compare this advanced version to its predecessor, Meshi 3, so you can see exactly how far the platform has come. By the end of this review, you'll not only have the most powerful AI tools at your fingertips, but also the most current information to ensure you're getting the best out of your creative projects. Welcome everyone to the channel. I'm R7, your trusted guide through the world of AI. And we've got some exciting things lined up for you today. Warning. Security scan detects the impact of an unidentified object on the moon's surface, dangerously close to the facility. Lab Rat Larry and his bot clones have already been dispatched to investigate. Oh no, we better get out there before Larry turns this into a disaster. Wow, what on earth? Uh, I mean, Moon is this? Larry, I really don't think you should touch that. can fly. Oh no! Well, that's too fewer Larry bots I need to keep an eye on. While we investigate this mysterious crash site, let's shift gears and dive into today's topic. Upon logging into Meshi AI, you're immediately welcomed by a sleek, revamped homepage. The top of the screen showcases all the essential AI generation tools, neatly organized for quick access. Just below, the featured creation section shines, displaying the latest, most innovative models crafted by the Meshi community. As you explore these highlighted creations, you'll notice many are pre-rigged and animated. These models are labeled like this. Let's take a closer look at a couple of these rigged and animated models. The level of detail and the smoothness of these models are truly impressive, reflecting the leap forward in quality with Meshi 4. But before we dive into our first experiment, let's check in with the gang back at the base to see how their latest discovery is unfolding. So Larry, what did you find at the crash site? Anything interesting? Larry found nothing. Just some snacks. Ha, ah, that's strange. I wonder how that ship ended up here. Howdy, partner. What the? What the? Hey, wait a minute. I know you. You're Pulsar Pete. You were the first character created on this channel. Yup. You got that right, partner. Pulsar Pete at your service. Straight from Roswell, New Mexico. What brings you out here to our facility, Pete? Well, I was headed back to my galaxy and figured I'd stock up on some snacks for the long trip home. Larry did find a vending machine recently. Larry no share snacks. Well, while you're here, Pete, do you think you could help us out with today's presentation? Sure thing, partner. Happy to lend a hand. Alright, for our first experiment, let's dive into the text-to-3D tool and see what kind of results we can generate. We'll create two meshes using the same text prompt, but compare the results from Meshi 3 with those from Meshi 4. Our goal to create another version of Lab Rat Larry, because we all know how much R7 loves having more Larrys running around. Each generation will cost 15 credits and take roughly one minute to complete. We'll be using the free plan to show that anyone can achieve these results without spending a dime. First, we'll input a text prompt similar to the one we used in Leonardo AI for generating our original Larry. Here is that prompt. 
We'll start by selecting Meshi 3 as our model and clicking Generate. After about a minute, we'll receive four low-resolution previews to choose from. These previews will give us a quick look at what Meshi 3 has produced, and we can cycle through each one to see which best captures the spirit of Larry. Once we've selected a mesh we're happy with, we'll hit Refine to enhance the details and bring it closer to a finished version. We'll download and save this mesh for our comparison later in the video. For now, let's move over to see how Meshi 3 handles Image to 3D. Let's move on to the Image to 3D process, which is just as straightforward. Simply select your 2D image for processing, click Generate, and let the magic happen. In about a minute, and for just 20 credits, we'll have another 3D model of Lab Rat Larry ready for use. Once it's complete, we'll save this model for a side-by-side -side comparison with the others we've generated. With that done, we've seen what the Meshi 3 model can accomplish. But before we dive into Meshi 4 for the real showdown, let's check in on the crew and see if they have any updates. So, how's Larry and the gang doing on fixing up my ship? I've heard those bots are pretty handy with a wrench. Oh, they're experts at it. They practically build and repair themselves using spare parts they find lying around the base. Speaking of Larry, here they come now. Wait, Larry the power core needs to stay in the ship, not in here. Larry need more power for snack machine. No, Larry, you bots are banned from using power sources after what happened last time. Pete, I think these guys might need a little supervision from you. In the meantime, let's take a look at Meshi 4 and see what exciting stuff we can create. Before update to the test, let's follow Pete's method from earlier in the video and reuse our original prompt as if we really need more Larry bots roaming around the base. Before we generate our mesh, let's make sure to select the Meshi 4 model. Hit the generate button and let Meshi work its magic. The first noticeable difference compared to Meshi 3 is the immediate quality upgrade. We are now presented with four high resolution models right off the bat. This is a significant improvement over the low resolution previews from earlier. Even better, we now have the option to texture the mesh before finalizing it, a surprising new feature that really elevates the process. Once we've selected the mesh that best captures Larry's unique charm, we'll click Texture to see Meshi 4's upgraded capabilities in action. Now that our final textured mesh is ready, we can download it and set it aside for our upcoming comparison. For our final test, we're going to explore the image to 3D option this time using the powerful new Meshi 4 model. As before, we'll upload our image of Larry, make sure Meshi 4 is selected, and hit Generate to see what kind of improvements this version offers. After just one minute, and for a cost of 20 credits, we have yet another fresh 3D mesh of Larry ready to go. Now that we've created all our meshes, it's time to jump into Blender and do a side-by-side -side comparison to see how Meshi 4 stacks up against its predecessor. Hey Pete, how are the ship repairs coming along? I should be blasting off into space in no time. Got a couple of those Larry bots working the wrenches as we speak. This town ain't big enough for two Larrys. Huh? Make your move. Yikes. All right, boys, hand over the ray guns. Those things aren't toys. Now that we're in Blender, let's dive deeper into the models we generated using Meshi. First up, we have the text to 3D meshes from both Meshi 3 and Meshi 4 side by side, giving us a real-time comparison of their quality. 
Starting with the textured versions, you'll immediately notice the difference. While the Meshi 3 model is inconsistent and lacks polish, the Meshi 4 textures, though not perfect, are significantly more detailed and uniform. Next, let's focus on the base mesh itself. Right from the start, it's clear that the Meshi 4 model boasts a higher level of detail and accuracy, likely thanks to its increased poly count. When we switch to the wireframe view, you can see the enhanced topology of Meshi 4, which is a substantial improvement over its predecessor. The same story plays out with the image to 3D models. The Meshi 4 version provides much cleaner texture translations and a more refined overall shape, with more precise detail in the base mesh. Again, the wireframes reveal a clear upgrade in topology, further showcasing the advancements Meshi 4 brings to the table. In this head-to-head -head comparison, it's safe to say that Meshi 4 is the clear winner, offering a significant step forward in producing usable 3D models for your games or other creative projects. Well, it's been a blast, but it's time for me to hit the trails. I sure appreciate the help getting my ship back in shape. And thanks for the snack restock. Can't make it across galaxies on an empty stomach. Anytime, Pete, you're always welcome back at the base. We could definitely use the extra hands, especially with Larry on the team. All right, time to fire up those thrusters. Safe travels, Pete, take care out there. Well, folks, that about wraps up today's adventure. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you'll be the first to know when we dive into more awesome AI tools. Uh, Pete? You okay, buddy? Slight miscalculation on the thrusters there. Larry, please tell me you put the power core back in Pete's ship. Larry needs more power for snacks. Looks like you guys have a lot of cleaning up to do before the next episode.